start with you, Graham. Oh. It feels like we've been uh, waiting quite an age for this one now, and now it's tomorrow, you've seen the cup, obviously you've lifted it in the past. What you, what did, you know that, Phil? <laughs> did you know that, Phil? Did you know that? Did you know I scored the winner? Did you know I scored the winner as well, Phil? <laughs> did you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. How many times have you mentioned that to the players then over yeah. the course of the last few weeks? I, I, I know, know. Yeah, I've been I've been told the staff to mention it. So. <laughs> uh, well, yeah, how are you feeling, Heather? No, it's, it's, it's nice. Like I said, I keep saying it all the way through with the league was the most important so it's it's always been on the back of our minds but the focus has been the league but now it's one Saturday and a, a great result for us to go into lead into this has been good and it's been exciting like I said the work's all being done now so it's just bringing it on the game on tomorrow night. Sell out crowd as well um, I think it's upwards of seven and a half thousand of course eight thousand I mean the they always give a great atmosphere anyway, but that's going to be yeah. It's, it's going to be it's going to be bouncing. It is going to be, and it's up to us to make sure they keep bouncing and being in the game. It's going to be a hell of a challenge. But the atmosphere, like every home game, has been brilliant, and the noise and what it brings. And like I said, with them backing and us on the pitch, if we can combine forces, we never know what's going to happen. Mm -hmm. When you were appointed at the start of December, I mean, yeah, it seems like a long time ago now. Um, now three months on. You won game away from Wembley. That's quite a quite a jump in your first managerial stint, really. Isn't it? Yeah, it's it's like I said, coming in never in a million years was I thinking or focusing on anything along these lines. It was the league and picking up points in the league, and the cup runs have been amazing. They have been amazing, and like I said, this opportunity tomorrow night. It's yeah, it's nothing I thought about, but the opportunity to take this club to Wembley it will be fantastic and amazing. Uh, achievement and there's added, and there's added uh, financial benefits to everything as well. Is that not being thought about really, or is it just genuine? No, look, football side, it's it's always nice, and you know you're gonna. It's there's perks to these cup runs as as much of what we enjoy on the pitch and our side of it. Given that extra finance for the club, is it's fantastic. It's a, it, like I said, it, it's benefits as all really. So we're we're look, enjoying this these cup runs for what they are, and the league the league form's been. Fantastic, and long that may that continue. But the, these cup runs have been a, a great distraction, and I think I, I said it before after the Crystal Palace thing, the atmosphere after that game sort of like just started that little positivity around the place, and we've took that forward into the league, and hopefully we can do that again tomorrow night. This is probably a typical cup question, but have the players practiced penalties every tomorrow? Night? Do we, they, they do every day, don't they? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> For some reason, yeah. yeah. But no, they were they were out there after the game, uh, taking the penalties. Look there. You can practice all night, it's handling that pressure and thankfully against Charlton, the lads were, they're composed and they're, to put them away and like I said, it'd be, my job. I don't know if I'll be able to take it if we get uh, penalties, <laughs> but we'll, we'll, it'll, be, it'll be, like I said, we're, the lads are focused and ready for the game, whatever it brings. Yeah, speaking of the shape of the, the squad and everything, they might have had a few fibs off players telling you they're fit for tomorrow night and they, they don't have any knocks or anything like that, but how is the shape of the squad? Yeah, look, there's, it's... Everyone's like I said, uh, as you can imagine, they all fight and want to be fit. Uh, we've got lads who've already played in, the, in this tournament, so they're cup tied, unfortunately. So the squad, the rest of the squad's ready and round. Mm. And now it's just about are you just itching to get to this point? At what seven? Yeah, this is more? this is always once you finish your session the day before. And once you, it's uh, as a player, as a manager, you just want that, you just want to fast forward and you want the game to start and, and get in there. So that atmosphere up, it's going to be a fantastic occasion. Mm. And we are looking forward to it, and it's here now. And like I said, we're we're ready, and I imagine Rotherham are excited for it as well. So it's it's going to be a great challenge, and but one we'll keep saying one we're excited by, and we're ready for a huge task as well with Rotherham in mind. Obviously, League One leaders on paper doesn't get much. Top of the yeah, look, they the we've watched we've watched many games of Rotherham, and they they're a fantastic team, hence why they're top of League One. Uh, so they're going to come at us. They're going to give us challenges, but we've got to be ready for and. Like I keep saying, if we can match teams and be solid and stay in the game, we've got quality in the team which we can hurt. We can hurt. You've seen that in the cup runs we've had so far. So we be we're confident and we've got to believe in ourselves and what we can do and and we'll give ourselves a chance. Nicky, if I could just ask you, um, you've already lifted a trophy for this club in the last year or so, but you two games. Oh yeah, you did mention that. <laughs> 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 the possibility of lifting one at Wembley in a couple of weeks time. Yeah, as a player. It's hard to look that far ahead to be honest. Uh, tough game on tomorrow night. Um, top seed in the in the competition with them being top of League One. So I think the main focus is is getting that game out of the way tomorrow and 
like the gaffer said, we've got we've got quality in our teams where we, we know we can hurt any any team on any given day. So, and I think we've proved that in in the cup, in the two cup runs we've had this season. So, it's a great opportunity for the club to get to Wembley for the first time, um, and hopefully we can put on a show tomorrow night. Is it is it one of the biggest games you've played for this club in your what eight years you've been here? No, no, I don't think so. I think the the playoff campaign last year was massively important for this club to get back into to the football league. I think that that, that tops that. But um, this, like the guy said, it's a nice distraction away from from the football side. Um, I suppose the the cup run and the, the money that comes with it, you don't account for that at the start of the season. So it's a nice bonus for for the club financially as well. We asked this to Luke Molyneux last week. When did you start to think, oh, this we've, we've got a bit of a chance here? When did you start to think that was the case? I, I've been involved too much in this competition, to be honest. But um, yeah, I think we've beat Chef Wednesday, Bolton, and, and Charlton in in the run up to this bit. So if you if you're beating them sort of teams, you you do have a, a good chance of getting to where you want to be and. Again, we've got we've got the toughest test tomorrow night, so hopefully we can get through that. Yeah. What do you know about Rotherham, and what are you sort of expecting <coughs> from them tomorrow night? I just know that they've been pretty much top of the table for the, for the full course of the season. I know that they're doing tense. Um, we did a bit of analysis on them today and this line, how they'll cause us problems. But the Gaffer and, and Sweens and Nelson that they've they found areas where. We believe we can we can hurt them and hopefully we can put that uh, game plan into practice. And Stephen, what seven to eight thousand fans there tomorrow night? Is everything sort of logistically in place? Yeah, yeah, it's a big challenge actually. Obviously, it's the biggest crowd we've had for, for many a year. I think um, you know, certainly in the last fifteen to twenty years, our average attendance is is kind of five thousand now, just under five thousand, which is like I said, the highest average attendance for for many, many years. So I said a few times this season, you know, there's something special happening here and thanks to the lads on the pitch and everything we're trying to do off the pitch, it does certainly feel that we're going in the right direction. But yeah, tomorrow will be a different kettle of fish all again, you know, all over again. It's uh, seven and a half thousand in this place when this place is, is bouncing with five thousand in. So yeah, we're all looking forward to it. You know, the sky bands are outside as we speak, setting up. There's a lot, there's a buzz about the place again. There's a buzz about the town. Um, so yeah, we can't wait for the atmosphere. It's going to be fantastic for the club. It's going to be fantastic for the town. It's great that we're live on TV and we can kind of put the club back on the map again. I think you know the exploits down at Crystal Palace certainly gave us lots of um, lots of praise and positivity, and we we certainly didn't disappoint uh, the brand of part of the United in the FA Cup. And now we've kind of got a free hit in the in the Papa John's. And you know, as the lads have said, you know we've had a fantastic run in these competitions. We beat some teams. Uh, well above us in terms of the football pyramid and I think we, we kind of suit the under top, underdog um, kind of title quite well so you know if the lads give everything they've got tomorrow which I'm sure they will in front of seven and a half thousand I'm sure it'll be a special occasion uh, whatever the result. And those added finances from the cup runs this season have obviously been a huge bonus um, to the club this season. Hugely, how have, yeah. How those have been, do you know, do you have an idea of how those have been reinvested back into the club? Is it, you know? Not yet. I think, I think um, you know, as, as Fed said, um, you know, these kind of cup runs are unbudgeted for. You know, you certainly wouldn't as a League Two club plan to progress to a cup final or a cup semi-final. You certainly wouldn't um, plan as a League Two club to get to the fourth round of the FA Cup. So, of course, we have to invest that wisely back into the into the club, the infrastructure, the squad for next season. Um, you know, we haven't got a lot of that money yet. That money will filter through between now and the end of the season. But yeah, in terms of uh, where we're at financially, um, it's it, it's a fantastic lift for the football club. And on the back of COVID, I've said it many times before. You know, a lot of League Two clubs. I think people think, oh, you're a football league club. You're back in the big time kind of thing. You know, you're awash with money. Well, we're not. You know, we're a League Two football club that that has to cut its cloth accordingly. Um, you know, the budget is is up there in, in kind of League 2 but kind of very modest off the field in terms of uh, the staff and the infrastructure and we need to try and reinvest that wisely. Uh, the chairman's put a lot of money into this football club. Um, when you look at the, the National League, you know, we're very lucky that he backed us at a time. Um, and obviously the, the signings like Luke Armstrong to help us fire us back into the, into the Football League and I think people sometimes are quick to forget that. Uh, we're certainly not internally, uh, we don't take that for granted. 
So I think the fact that we've had unbudgeted finances um, above and beyond what we probably expected at the start of the season is a welcome addition to the football club and it will only make us stronger. Just finally from, from me, Graham, you've lifted this trophy once before if no one else knew that you scored in the final <laughs> as a player. <laughs> Well, um, how, would, yeah. Yeah, how much would it mean to lift it as a trophy? Uh, yeah. As a manager, rather. This will probably more, more than as a player. Nicky will be different, obviously, he's still a player, but the achievement to take a team and lead a team out as a manager, that that'll, that'll mean miles more than I would have done as a player. Like you said, it's, it's, I'm loving this job and loving the, any win is massive for you. It, it helps you sleep at night, but something along these lines to, to take, be able to take this team to Wembley would be a massive thing for me. And uh, like I said, if we the opportunity to lift the trophy, but yeah, I'd be one proud man. Mm. But obviously, big hurdle tomorrow night first. Just a little one, yeah. No, <laughs> Rotherham are, Rotherham are a fantastic team, and I know their staff, and I speak to them quite regularly. Unfortunately, one of my friends is the first team coach, so. He's followed since I've taken over. He's watched every game of ours. <laughs> he, so it's now backfired a little bit on that. And he's uh, so, but now it's look, it's a bit of banter between us. But he's uh, it's they're fan doing fantastic in their league, and we are on a good run at the moment. So it should account for a good game. Thank you. You saying that your friends from the Rotherham staff have been having a word in here? Many words, yeah. <laughs> uh, no, I, I speak to him weekly anyway. But it, when this game has come up, we've. Uh, We've had many chats and a uh, bit of banter and different things, but no, it's look a fantastic team. But he has, he has openly said that out. I mean, he watches our games. He has done since I've come in, so he does have a lot of insight and regarding us. So I've stayed him in a few different directions regarding it tomorrow night. So, but no, it's a, fuck, the game's going to be a great challenge and one I'm looking forward to. Has it been hard to switch off or easy to switch off really, with the distance between the quarter final and now the semi final? Would you have rather it have come straight off? The uh, no, it's it's been it's been. Look, we had a focus. The the last round was fantastic. We the achievement to get through, and then I keep saying that the league's been the main priority. And February was fantastic. The game, it's always been exciting. It's always been in the back of mind. Bring the tof- trophy last week just brought it back a little bit more. That it's it's getting closer, but we had a Harrogate to uh, to deal with on Saturday, and once. Once we got that game and the result and performance was done, then you can start getting excited. And I think yes, Nick, the question regarding this is it one of his biggest games, rightly so. The the playoff game is far bigger than that, this game because it, it's got the club where it was belong, uh, want to be, and back in the football league. But this game's exciting. I think that's what it's about. It's the excitement for everyone, the fans, the the, the club, the players, the staff, everything about it. It's just an exciting opportunity for us all. And you're heading in in good form as well. It must be pleasing that these games. As much as they've been a good distraction, they haven't hindered the league form either. No, look, I think it's it's helped. It's given us a bit of belief, and like I said, throughout these cup games, has been majority of the squad has played within these games, and it's it has given us people t- opportunities to fight for the places, and the league's been good, the front, and then obviously these are good distractions. They are, and the performances in these games have have kicked us on. Like I said, the second half of the Crystal Palace game. Gave us belief that we're matching and playing against a, a Premier League team, and and then you took that atmosphere after the game and all that. We took it into the Barrow game and it just continued from then. We've got to continue our form tomorrow night. Take that in the game, then the focus on Saturday as well. We joke about you obviously winning the competition, but do you can you use that to the players or vice versa with the playoff thing? Is it, is it a case of leaning on each other's shoulders for these experiences? No, well, I think the experience of what everyone's had within the game and. The big games they've had, the lads who were in the club last year, them they're huge games to be able to part of. And if you can handle yourself in them games, these games, this tomorrow night's like I said, you're playing against League One, top of the league. So the fact of us going in there, we're, we are the underdogs, we're going in there, we've got to we can just go give everything we can and see what happens and like I said, we've got quality in our team that we can hurt teams. So I, I know if I'm well I laugh about my friend being the coach here, but he knows what we can do and so he'll have seen that and no doubt they'll give us every respect coming into the game. And just to get to Wembley as well, because obviously the times that the club would have got to Wembley, it hasn't been staged at Wembley, so it yeah. be a big, big it's thing. It's massive, yeah. It's, like I said, the incentive to, to get to Wembley is huge for us all, and the clubs, it's massive, and to to be the first uh, manager to take this club at Wembley would be absolutely amazing, amazing ch- achievement. One of the things you said when you did come in was games were always a bit more special under the lights. Yeah it's, be, uh, yeah, it's going to be. Yeah, it's going to be. It's going to be immense, and like I said, the atmosphere and everything about, and we're just going to give everything we can to make sure that atmosphere continues throughout the game. I think it will, no matter what. 
terms of your team news as well, I think you mentioned that he's not featured much. Does that, like, because there has been a few changes when you come into these games, do you sort of stick with that? Or because we're at this stage now, do you think, oh, oh. Yeah, no, the, these games, they've been, like I said, a good distraction, but, like, you still put the team out where you want to win the games, and tomorrow, the runner form we're in, I want to make sure we're as strong as I think, feel as so we need to be, or the right players on the on the pitch at the right time for this game. Any of them knocks from Saturday? Okay. No, I think everyone's uh, everyone's ready and ready. Nicky, last time we spoke to you was after the Carlisle game, I think, and you said then that you felt as though you were close to getting a runner form, and it certainly come, hasn't it? Yeah, yeah, I think, um, like the Gaff said, since Crystal Palace, um, we've put a really good run off. A form together. I think we've won five out of the last seven league games. So, barring the uh, the Walsall performance, we've we've played pretty well in the majority of those games. Um, I know the gaffer haven't been happy with some of our starts in those games, but uh, we have managed to respond well in a lot of those games. Um, and it's come at a good time, taking it into into the game tomorrow. So hopefully we can put on another performance. Does that Crystal Palace game have any impact on your feelings towards this game? I know he's talking about playoff and rightly so, but missing that game, Just, do you want to be involved in this one a bit more because of that? I've made myself available for this competition right from the from the group stage. I want to play every game I can, so yeah, it don't matter what stage of the competition, I, I want to play games of football. Um, I understand you why, you, why you've changed the teams <laughs> and that, but in terms of me personally, I, yeah, I want to play in every game I can. You've been with the club a long time, you've experienced highs and lows, can you sense how like the buzz around the town at the minute like how different is it now because there's a real feel good factor around the club yeah there's a connection that i've not had with the fans as in the, the club and the fans you can quite clearly see that with what stephen said we were averaging just short of five or just over five whatever it was um and to have a sell out that's the first one i've had since i've been here so yeah it's massive i was at an appearance last night uh the fit fans session and the buzz around the place and the excitement of this game tomorrow is massive, probably more than I, I thought to be honest. In terms of just going back to the question there, if you are selected tomorrow, is there any pressure on you if you're not having featured as much in this competition or you take that in your stride? <laughs> there's, there's pressure on us to win every game we go out there, so yeah, no added pressure now. On Saturday you handed the armband to Gary Dill, just a word on that as well. 700 games, yeah, massive. Uh, to get that at 35 as well, usually probably 37, 38 by the time you get that, so that's probably 15, 16 years of 45 to 50 games a season, so it's a massive achievement. And between us, we thought it was the right thing to do. If you get to Wembley, we'll be doing it again, or would you want to do that? <laughs> <laughs> Possibly not. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> Stephen, I'll uh, come to you. We've spoke before, I think it was at that Crystal Palace press conference about. And Matty was touching up with the finances and the sponsorship things. Obviously, if you could get to Wembley, that's only going to boost that side of things as well, isn't it? Yeah, um, like I said before, you know these are unbudgeted uh, kind of competitions that you want to progress in and, and get as far as you can, but you can never budget for that. So in everything that we get kind of above the early rounds when you're a League Two club is a, is a, a real bonus. Um, so of course, yeah, it's a, it's a big help financially. Um, and we just need to make sure that as a board that we reinvest that wisely and, and help the club get stronger. And grow. You know, it's not kind of short-term thinking like potentially it was in the past. Now we kind of need to stop filling the, you know, kind of covering over the cracks with the short-term solutions. And you know, the added finances can help us be strategic and and kind of look to the next kind of two three years of the plan. Another thing we touched on that day as well was the academy. Obviously, last week there's a bit of news with the AFL link development coming on nicely. Yeah, yeah. So a little date on that. We've now um, we've put the the application in for a cap four. Academy um, starting from next season, which we're confident will be accepted back into the academy system. Um, massive for this football club, really, really is um, in terms of producing local talent and stopping the best uh, young young boys in the in the kind of town going to our neighbours. We want to keep the best talent in this football in this football town and uh, and get them coming through the ranks and um, and one day playing for you know for the first team and and maybe sitting here like Feds is today. So. Yeah, it's a massive, massive step for the football club. It's something I'm personally really passionate about in terms of driving it, in terms of the town. It's not just the academy, but we've also got a youth alliance which sits underneath that, because a cap four is only 16s to 18s. Um, whilst we're on that subject, you know, we're now, we are now at the stage where we'll be accepting 
applications for boys to um, to try out for us for the uh, the Cat Four Academy. So they can send their CVs in to inquiries at hartlepoolunited.co.uk and we'll have a look at those between now and the end of the season. We want to develop the, the stars of the future and we want to keep them local. Go on. Graham, I'll finish with you. Knowing what you're like and how you spoke before, you probably will have one eye on Saturday of the league, but is this a bit of a free hit in that sense? Yeah, look, look, I have to say, yeah, it's, it's an exciting opportunity to get this club to Wembley. It's, uh, it's against an opposition who are flying top of the league, so it's yeah. As much as you say free, we want to go and give everything we can to get something out of this game. We want to win this game. We want to take this club to Wembley, so we're giving everything we can to do that. Class. All the best.